हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सोनिया आई एस गाइज टूडे द रिजल्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू प्रिलिम्स हैव बिन डिक्लेयर ओके लॉट ऑफ यू हैव मेड इट टू द लिस्ट सो फॉर देम आई विल जस्ट टॉक फॉर वन मिनट बट द मेन सेशन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इफ यू हैव नॉट मेड इट टू द लिस्ट देन वॉट शुड बी योर स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री right it is going to be the next attempt the next time when ups is going to conduct the exam again so we have to be well prepared right so prelims uh, those who have cleared it one minute for them one minute 30 seconds for them so first of all we have a few programs that can help you we have the books for mains one book uh, co contains all the comprehensive material for one gs paper so in just four books you can cover all your topics for mains all the relevant ones important ones static and current and uh, you can order them we also have video crash courses for mains 2022 and we have a test series when you will get the best evaluation best in terms of personalized detailed and suggestive and the questions are of upsc level the best quality questions that you can attempt to get prepared for your mains now let's come back to the main focus of the session which is if you have not made it to the list then what are you going to do okay what will we do so i want to start this session with one uh, very uh, powerful line which i believe in if you fail to plan you have a plan to fail okay this is uh, something i really 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 uh, believe in and this is something that really works for you so for being successful at something you will need to plan first of all and if you don't have a plan you don't have a strategy then the chances of success at anything that you do decrease drastically so here we are not going to let 2023 slide by we have a strategy we will make a strategy and we will be successful in 2023 so let us see how will you prepare for 2023 okay now what you have to do you have to clear have uh, clarity on your prelims gs mains gs and optional okay so for prelims and mains i would say you should have an integrated plan while you are re reading for prelims and building up content you should be able to attempt the answers you should be able to attempt the questions and write the answers for mains also okay you have to take these two things hand in hand and if you look at the paper pattern uh, it is getting more subjective okay the prelims also optional makes a very huge part of your mains so whenever you're preparing for upsc civil services you have to ensure that your optional is done with so first thing ye teeno cheeze you have to take all these three things together and make a plan you are not letting anything slide by because if you're scoring less in prelims you won't be able to write the mains if you're not scoring good in gs and scoring good in optional then also it's no good if you're scoring good in op uh, gs and not good in optional so everything has to be balanced your entire preparation needs to be balanced on and for that you need to have a strategy a plan okay we will talk about how to plan so uh, if i talk about timelines right a plan is all about what sources will you read hai na and uh till when will you finish all these things so to me and at sunya we always say that before any time before december 2022 or by the end of december 22 you should all be prepared for all these three things okay for that you will have to really work hard given your best and sources are very important whatever sources you are attempting okay reading if you are not able to attempt the pyqs with the same sources if you cannot solve them then you have to recalibrate your sources as far as mains is concerned there's no need to look at for look at other sources you can 
trust the books the gs books that we have blindly because it covers everything comprehensively and that too in a mains oriented way okay and if you talk about your optional then right now and for couple of other months you should devote 50% of your time to your optional and complete it right read your uh, you know standard books make your notes uh do some writing practice attempt some pyqs that is what you should be doing right now starting tomorrow okay looking at the question paper of last few years say four or five years you cannot take current affairs lightly okay most of the students have a tendency that they don't read current affairs they just read the annual compilation okay so you have to read your current affairs every month you should be ready with your current affairs preparation every month okay don't let it slide lot of people procrastinate and at the end of march or april they think that they will be able to read revise memorize you know and replicate implement all that they have read in a one month they will be able to build it up and they would be able to perform well in the exam but guys to be very honest don't let it happen because when you are reading something on a regular basis okay lot of things will be repeated lot of things uh, will be getting updated and once you are in a habit of reading every month you will be developing a knowledge base okay so please 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 one humble request current affairs will have to be done on a monthly basis another thing you need to check is while reading and writing okay it is very important that can you write mains answers pick up any pyq book okay pick up any pyq any previous year question paper and try to attempt some questions are you able to uh, figure out what the examiner is trying to ask are you able to figure out in how many components your answer is going to be divided can you write the answer in the stipulated time if not then a lot of work is needed in terms of sources okay and in terms of practice these two things you will need for your mains answer writing another thing optional is very important but along with it your ethics that is your gs4 paper and essay paper are also very crucial because lot of students they get great marks in essay and that's how they make it to the list they get good marks in ethics and option and everything they score average but there are some students who miss the cut off because they are scoring low in essay and writing essay is uh, something you know uh, very unique it's a, it's different from a gs answer so for writing an essay you will have to understand that how is the structure of an essay built what would be the components the dimensions how to structure the body of the essay how do you in start your introduction or how do you start your essay how do you end your essay so you will have to start working on all these things very 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 minutely okay and right now we have good amount of time till we appear for 2023 done now this time lot of students weren't able to clear because of csat right csat was a game changer last year also and this year also if you look at uh, csat 4 or 5 years ago then there were lot of easy questions nobody i mean somebody hardly looked at csat the reading comprehension passages were so easy the options and the answers were so explicit that everyone cleared it while attempting rc and some of the reasoning okay so this time also csat paper has surprised us so i would say take it slow and steady now what do i mean by slow and steady every week not every day okay every week take out a few hours and you know just work on your csat be it english comprehension uh, be it your uh, logical reasoning be it your mathematics whatever things are there work on the concepts how do you reach the answer what is the logic for reaching the answer practice a few examples right and for all these things you will definitely need an integrated test series okay to cover all these things you will need an integrated test series 
Now you might have heard about uh, the very famous Brahmastra program. What is the Brahmastra program? It's a very famous program. I'm sure you might have heard about it from some of your friends or uh, some of your, uh, you know, uh, people who have passed uh, the exam last year. This is a program which is something you need. This is the thing you need for 2023. Okay. I would say this is the only thing you need. Now, why do I say it is the only thing? Let us see what are the components. It is an integrated test series. Okay, it's an integrated program. Now, what are the components of the program? First, you're getting 76 tests. There are 41 tests of prelims. And there are 35 tests of mains. So, when you are reading about prelims, about a particular subject, you're building content. And during the same time, you will write tests. So you will understand a subject from a multi-dimensional view and you will also sharpen your answer writing skills. The second important feature is you are getting study material. This is very important feature. For prelims, you will be getting, uh, you know, static plus current. Both the both the things will be well covered. When I say current, it is the famous Sunya notes that you all have been reading since so many years. And we are going to give you notes for static portion also. Now, these notes are made from NIOS, NCRT and your standard books, the conventional and the non-conventional sources which are important for our UPSC preparation. When I talk about mains, you will get the GS books, which are very important and which are like really comprehensive. You really don't need to read anything else if you have those books for mains in terms of GS. Now, the third and the most, most, most important feature of the program is you will get mentorship. Personal mentorship, wherein you will be able to discuss your strategy, your sources, your strong subjects, your weak subjects and everything with your mentor and your mentor will be nudging your strategy all the time. Also, you have super mentors who will be conducting answer writing sessions, who will be nudging your strategy uh, on a timely basis, who would also be guiding you regarding how to read your optional, what strategy to make about your optional and a lot more. We are also doing discussion and marks booster sessions for all these 76 tests which will really improve your probability of reaching the right answer very very high. It will improve it and take it to a very good certain level. Right. So there are three important components. The tests. Okay. The tests. The second part is the material and the third part is mentorship. Okay, and this is all what you need, I would say, for your 2023 attempt. The, uh, you know, test series, why you should join any test series? When you have a test series, there is always a fixed schedule. Okay, and when you have a fixed schedule, you have a target to achieve. And if you have a target, you will make a plan, you will make a strategy. All these tests, uh, you know, they are flexible in nature, but we always recommend the students to attempt it on time so that you don't fall in the cycle of procrastination and end up messing your timetable and timelines. Okay. There is another program that you can use for 2023. It is a daily answer writing program wherein we post one question every day and students write the answers to this one question. It is evaluated within 28 to 48 hours and given back to the students. Now, this program takes hardly 15 to 20 minutes of your day, but one step at a day and you can scale Mount Everest, right? One step at a time and you can scale Mount Everest. So this is the same thing. Every day you will be making small, small improvements and your answer writing skills would be really improving. So. I have told you how your strategy should be, what you should be doing and I am very serious you have to complete all these things by the end of December 2022. 
so that you can join test series we also have another test series uh, coming up it is for prelims i will just erase it and write it down another test series for prelims 2023 okay now this prelims 2023 uh, you will get this test series it is a four tier test series wherein uh, you will have tests from NCRTs, your standard books, and then there are high level tests, uh, the complex, uh, you know, questions that UPSC is framing, uh, how it puts the options, how it frames the question, and everything is incorporated in these kind of tests. So for your prelims 2023, uh, there will be a test, there is a test series which you can subscribe to, which will really help you to understand. Uh, what subjects uh, you are weak at, how do you get better at it and everything will be very much systematically planned out for you. So guys, thank you very much. And I again tell you, if you fail to plan, you have a plan to fail. Okay, if you don't plan today and start working tomorrow. So planning, how important is a plan? It is as important as the implementation. Okay, so I need all of you to plan things today for 2023 and from tomorrow we all are going to work very hard towards making this 2023 attempt successful okay thank you very much guys